Jesus freak here. And so it's just something that came to mind while I was sitting out here. You notice, you know, the big three manuscripts are Sinaiticus, Vaticanus, and Alexandrinus. You notice you hardly ever hear about Alexandrinus. There's a reason for that. It's about the same age as the other two, but the Gospels are of a Byzantine type. And obviously, oh, we can't have that. We can't have Byzantine manuscripts being as early as Sinaiticus and Vaticanus. But the manuscript tradition proves this out, that there really are uh, Byzantine and Byzantine-like manuscripts dating back to the same time period as your Alexandrian manuscripts. And it's why you don't hear a lot about them, because, you know, it breaks the narrative. If people suddenly realize, you know, that the Byzantine text is perfectly authoritative in its own right, at least as much as the Alexandrian and the Western type, But most current translations are based almost exclusively on the Alexandrian type. Some earlier ones were based on Western because that's what the Vulgate has. And you have some Byzantine-Western hybrids, which is basically... The text just receptus is probably about 95% Byzantine and 5% Western. I'm making up the numbers, but it's basically that. There's a few verses where Erasmus pinched a line out of the Vulgate and kept it. But for the most part, it's Byzantine. But the narrative says Byzantine didn't exist until several centuries later. And the existence of Alexandrinus throws a whole wrench into that. There's other really old manuscripts that have Byzantine elements. They go back this far, too. 3rd, 4th, 5th century. I think they even found 2nd century fragments that were had Byzantine elements. So, we can't really say that the Alexandrian text is really the authentic one any more than anything else. And if we're going to say, you know, there's one text that probably resulted in the creation of the others, I think in most places that text is going to be the Byzantine. But we can't have that because it destroys the narrative. Look. I don't care about your stupid narrative. I want the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Jesus freak out.